one's from uh, Jay Gonzalez. He's got a few questions, actually. Um, I met Jay Gonz, actually. He's a, he comments every single day on the toy site, and he came to one of our demos. He did take a photo um, doing a, a board as a boner right in front of his mom, which I thought was pretty cool. What was the wackiest, dodgiest company you skated for? Is it wackiest? Wacky. Yeah, wackiest. Slash dodgiest. I'd probably say rusty. That's right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cheddar, cheddar cheese, y'all, right? No, to my right? defense. To my defense. There was also good people, so that's kind of why I agreed to ride for this like surf company because it was they were going to start a skate program, but of course that just derailed instantly. Back to Jay Gonzalez. Do you like meeting kids at demos? Yeah, I don't mind it. I mean, uh, did Reddit annoy you when you when you did that uh, first try Fridays? <laughs> yes, I mean, yeah, he annoys me all the time, but that's Reddit, so what do you do? No. <laughs> I'm, never, I'm not the kind of person that really meshes with that kind of humor, really, so I just like sit there like, uh. Have you ever sent a text message? I have. Put LOL in it or anything like that? Smiling, no. Smiling, smiling, a wink? Read some, oh, read some other Jagons ones. Jagons? Wasn't there a whole list of them? Jagons? I like them. from Jagons. Have you ever bought anything from Hot Topic? No, I have not. There you go. We're I've never on. even been inside one. Okay, Seamus Burton asks, is it true that before someone can get on Toy Machine, you get to draw them naked? No, that's not true. I think somehow over the years, Burnett, Mike Burnett, in having fun asking people questions, you know, one of his go-to questions is, when, when did Ed see you naked or something? Yeah, and I think now the public at large really believes that, like, Toy Machine is just, like, nudity and orgies i don't know what they think but yeah no i don't see anybody naked i don't think i've ever seen i have seen kevin naked our filmer but that's it yeah i don't think i've seen anyone else on the team naked <laughs> yet okay. okay uh blood sucking corporate scum asks who would you kill if you could get away with it the first thing that popped in my head was like rush limbaugh sarah palin something like that but then i was just like uh eh, the pope the pope i'd find someone who was a rapist and kill him, but I don't really have anyone's name. I don't know that many rapists. I'm gonna, you know what, Sarah Palin. You know what, I like the rapists, that's fun. Okay, that's fun. yeah, right, whatever. Good answer. Um, Riley Cooper asks, did we really go to the moon, or not? Look it, kids. Uh-oh, it's a real topic. Yeah, kids, you love the conspiracy theories. And I know at a certain age, I went through this phase too, reading Whitley Stryber, communion, getting into aliens and shit. And then you get a little older and you start looking at the real world. We went to the moon, yes. Most of the consp these conspiracy theories are a bunch of BS. Adrian asks, are you skateboarding's R. Crumb? No, my family's not that fucked up. My dad ran off with a 16 year old and he used to hit us with a belt, but that's about as bad as it got. And that's most, most kids I know have something like that in their life. Nathan asks, I'm a skateboarder from India. Probably the only one, Ed, if you believe that. I just want to ask you, due to the recession, can pro skaters still make a decent living? Most of the skateboarders, no. You can't make a decent living anymore. The big ones that have a lot of sponsors, they make a decent living, yeah. If you have a shoe sponsor and a pro shoe and a clothing sponsor and a board sponsor, then most likely you're, you're doing pretty well. But if you just have a board sponsor and no shoe sponsor, then it's pretty tough. It's starting to reach, with the, especially in this recession, like guys getting second jobs type of thing. It's really uh, not as lucrative as you might think. Um, this one's from Phil. Did you consciously plan on resting your hat in the suburbs? Yeah, I mean, I was conscious when I, when I decided to live here. The reason I live here is because the skateboard industry is based here. If I was purely an artist and not doing anything in skateboarding, then most likely I would have wanted to move to LA or New York or something like that. <sighs> Fresh from Mex asks, where do you skate now that the beloved HB Park is gone? Nowhere. Good call. <laughs> yeah, I just basically, I basically don't skate you anymore. That sponsors? <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Nowhere. Who would win a battle of handsomes? Josh Harmony, mm. Austin Stevens, mm. or Spanky? I really think that uh, Austin has always been the golden boy of that group. Spanky's, yeah, yeah. Spanky's uh, cute in a, you know, midget with long hair way. Josh is Josh is handsome too. <laughs> I was a little harsh on the snake dog. It's supposed a to be midget. funny. It's supposed to be funny. Terry asks, I once read an interview with you where you said that when kids send you photos of their toy machine tattoos, you usually try and send them a board or something. I emailed you a photo of mine. This is a disgruntled one. Hmm. I emailed you a photo of mine and haven't heard back from you. Does this still stand true in these 
Vital times of economic uncertainty? Sincerely, Royal Pond. If I saw a kid in person with a toy hat, then if I had a board, I would give them a board, usually because, you know, they went toy machine they for life. Lives. Yeah, they ruined their lives for toy machines, so at least I can give them as a board. But yeah, we don't just like send in your photo of a tattoo and we'll send you a, a free board. That's not really how it works, especially in this economy. Vostal? I don't know. Vost, let's just say Vostal. The, C the CH is probably silent. If dolphins are so smart, why do they live in igloos? The in the animal world, they're smart. Number two, your question is dumb because they don't live in igloos. Dolphins live in the ocean. Igloos are Eskimos, which are way smarter than dolphins who build, it, who build it igloos. So yeah, in your face. Burning facial. Marty asks, what was your worst bail? I'd probably have to say in the year 2000, I broke my neck in yeah, Lausanne, yeah, Switzerland <laughs> at a contest. Um, so that's it. Thank you for asking the questions. There was way too many to answer, so we had to edit it down. Um, XOXO, Smush, wait. LOL, <laughs> LOL, OMG, ASAP.